Question, I took my blood test for celiac and it was negative, but I was gluten-free at the time. Would this be an issue? Yes, this could be an issue. So in order to obtain accurate celiac disease test results, you have to be eating gluten at the time of the testing. There are two different types of tests that are ran. There's blood tests, and then there is an endoscopy of your small intestine with biopsies. There's also a third testing method, but it's not as common. It is a skin biopsy of your skin if you have a rash called dermatitis repetiformis. Dermatitis repetiformis is a skin rash manifestation of celiac disease. If you wanna learn more, I have some videos about that on my page as well. There's also genetic testing that can be done, but this is not used as a diagnostic tool. It's just more of a tool to give a better picture if you may have celiac disease or may potentially develop it at some point in your life. They will look for one or both of these genes, HLA-DQ2 and HLA-DQ8. But as of now, the blood test and the endoscopy, you have to be eating a gluten-containing diet before the test. For individuals who've gone gluten-free before getting the test, they have to go do what is called a gluten challenge, and it's basically just eating gluten. Last I checked was August of 2023. The American College for Gastroenterology's recommendation was around six weeks eating two slices worth of bread of gluten each day to get the most accurate result. And the reason you have to be eating gluten for these tests is to assess the level of damage in your small intestines and look for the antibodies in your blood. When you're gluten-free and you have celiac disease, your intestines will begin to heal and your antibodies will go down in your blood, which is the goal of, that's why you gotta eat gluten-free with celiac disease, but when you're trying to obtain that initial diagnosis, that could be a problem. Now, if you did the gluten challenge and you do get tested for celiac disease or you get tested for celiac disease when you've just been eating a regular gluten diet, and it comes back negative, then you do not have celiac disease. I hope that helps. And I hope you can get some answers soon because I know how hard it is to be struggling and just not sure what's going on with your body.